Okay, a lot. So I was saying, we just gotta like hammer through this. This is gonna be in the last example though, then you guys are gonna do some work, okay? This is the last one of right now. All right, so the next thing, the last one we're going to work on is last one we did, f of g of x, which we kind of called the fog, right? And what that represented was f of g of x. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite that. We're going to switch it around. So what if I asked you now to find the composition of g of f? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's just going to be switched around. That's going to be g of f of x. This is another one? It's the exact same one, but now it's going to be switched around. Okay, but I'm asking, like, you know how about Yeah, this is like one last example. OK. So now, when given a problem like this, I'm just going to go back through and, and again and explain um, how we work on evaluating functions. So let's just kind of pull up some random numbers again. If I said g of negative 1, or actually, let's just look at g of x. If I say g of x equals negative 4, x plus 5. If I say what is g of negative 1, you replace the negative 1 in for the x. So you get negative 4 times negative 1 plus 5. Right? And then you evaluate. If I say, what is g of 5? Then you put a 5 in for the x. Right? If I say, what is g of um, 3p? If I say, what's g of 3p? Then you plug in a 3p in for the x. Does everybody follow me so far? If I say, what is g of um, x plus 1. Then you plug in an x plus 1 in for the x. And then you'd evaluate, right? So ladies and gentlemen, if I follow through this, if I follow this exact same pattern, and now I say, what is g of f of x? Well, what you're going to do, g of f of x equals whatever your g of x is. Then and you're going to put now a f of x. in for your x, right? If I just follow this pattern, it's negative 4 times f of x plus 5. Does everybody kind of see how I'm just following the pattern? Just follow along the pattern, all right, Wendy? And so now I look at this and I say, OK, so I have negative 4 times f of x plus 5. Some of these you can evaluate for numbers. Some of these you're just going to evaluate to get an expression. But for here, I say, can I figure out what f of x is? Well, I provided you f of x is equal to 2x. So therefore, I'm going to now replace f of x in for 2x. Now, you can distribute negative 8x plus 5. And I cannot simplify that any further. So that is going to be your final solution. That's going to be your final expression. OK? Wendy, do you remember my talk that I had 